Hey there, Green Thumbs! If you've already dipped your toes into the world of cannabis cultivation and are looking to take your indoor grow game to the next level, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into advanced tips for growing cannabis indoors, focusing on the seedling to veg cycle. Let's get started. First off, let's talk about the different types of cannabis plants. You've got your photo period strains, auto flowering strains, and now the fast flower strains. Photo period strains depend on light cycles to switch from vegetative to flowering stages. They need specific light schedules, usually 18 hours of light and six hours of darkness during the veg stage. On the other hand, auto flowering strains will automatically switch from veg to flowering based on their age, regardless of the light cycle. Fast flower strains are a hybrid of the two, designed to flower quicker than traditional photo periods but still influenced by light cycles. All right, now that we've got the basics down, let's move on to the seedling stage. This is where your cannabis journey begins. Seedlings are fragile and need a gentle touch. You'll want to start them in a small container like a solo cup or a seedling tray with a light, well-draining soil mix. Keep the humidity high around 65 to 70 percent and maintain temperatures between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Seedlings need a light source that's not too intense. A T5 fluorescent light or a low wattage LED grow light works perfectly here. Keep the lights on for about 18, 24 hours a day. Once your seedlings have developed a few sets of true leaves, they're ready to be transplanted into a larger container and moved into the vegetative stage. During veg, your plants will focus on growing strong roots and lush foliage. This is where you dial up the intensity of your lights. High-powered LEDs or metal halide lights are great for this stage. Keep them on for 18 hours a day to promote growth. Now let's talk nutrients. During the veg cycle, your plants need a balanced nutrient mix with a focus on nitrogen, which supports leafy growth. Make sure to follow the feeding schedule for your specific nutrient line and adjust based on your plant's needs. Overfeeding can lead to nutrient burn, while underfeeding can stunt growth. Maintaining the right environment is crucial. You'll want to keep the temperature between 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit and the humidity around 50 to 70 percent. Good airflow is also essential to prevent mold and pests. Use oscillating fans to keep the air moving and consider an exhaust system to manage heat and humidity. Finally, keep an eye out for your plant's overall health. Look for signs of stress like yellowing leaves or slow growth and adjust your care routine accordingly. Happy plants will show vigorous growth, deep green leaves, and strong stems. And there you have it, advanced tips for taking your cannabis seedlings through to the veg cycle. Remember, each plant and grow setup is unique, so stay observant and adjust as needed. Happy growing! Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tips, and drop any questions in the comments below. Until next time, keep growing!